Hey folks, I wanted to make a similar tutorial video to the one I just made on the Boeing aircraft consi uh, um, consisting of adding user waypoints to a defined route and I've come across some roadblocks here on the Airbus. So we're on the Airbus and we have our routing from Seattle to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Here you can see we're heading north to Payne Field and Everett. And then if we step through this, it puts us on a long straight in to runway eight right at Vancouver International, which is all well and good. And what I was trying to do is to create a user waypoint out here to the west of this waypoint bubble, which would give the user, a, it would be off procedure. You would no longer be following the published procedure, but it would give you a longer straight in approach to runway eight right. And I'm pretty sure there is a way of doing it. It may not be actively available now, but it might be something that um, can be added in the future. For instance, when I go to um, Seattle, these gray fields are a way of defining a point by degrees and by distance. And I believe that's what this might be uh, good for. So one thing I can give you just a little bit of a tutorial in, we're taking off from Seattle, we're on our way to Canada. If you wanted to add in a known waypoint, for instance, there's an airport just to the northwest of SeaTac called Renton Field. We could add Renton Field in. Seattle, Renton, insert. And now we have, instead of Seattle straight to Payne, we have Seattle Renton straight to Payne. And if I go to Payne and we put in another known waypoint, in this case, Skagit County Regional Airport, KBVS. Good thing I live in Washington State and I know these, these uh, waypoints, these airports. So we add that in and we insert and now our, rate, our routing is Seattle, Renton, to the northwest of Seattle, then to Payne, which is almost due north of Seattle, then to Skagit Regional, which is northwest of Payne, and then on to Bubble and on to our destination. So let's look at what that looks like on the routing. Go out just a little bit here, actually out quite a bit. step okay there's there's Seattle there's Renton I don't know why the line that's a go to Renton maybe I need to do something to make that happen again when I added these in there are no constraints there's no data when I put the constraints on uh, if you were in a procedure, there would be altitude constraints, and there are no constraints with the added waypoints. But there's Renton, and then, oh, we just kind of skipped right to the arrival there, didn't it? There's Payne, there's Skagit Regional. And then we're on the procedure for runway 8 right. Well, I know it's not much, but it is something. If you would want to modify your routing after you have, uh, have it initialized in your flight plan, that is the way to do it. So pick a waypoint.
So in this case, we'll pick uh, our starting point of Seattle. Seattle, runway 16. And then you can choose next waypoint. And uh, uh, that's... That's the only functionality that's here. Now, it looks like in the future there might be functionality to have a new destination instead of just a new via or a new waypoint. But uh, all of this, if it becomes incorporated into the uh, Airbus that we enjoy with Microsoft Flight Simulator, that would be a positive thing. Anyway, maybe you gained something from this video, and maybe it might encourage you to check out that video on the Boeing. Have a great day.